Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second video about explanting, but this time I am explanted. Here are my implants right here. I can't not believe they are out. I am feeling fantastic. The You could just see that I'm glowing. I'm just so happy right now. Oh, excuse my phone. Um, the procedure went really well. It took two hours in which I was told that explants usually take an hour and a half to two hours long depending on what's going on if there's any like ruptures and stuff that's why it would take longer if you're just doing an explant sewn up you're on the shorter side um, I got an explant with a J-lift um, when I was in the room with the doctor he drew some lines so he put some lines um, up my chest and up the sides of my breast just to be symmetrical and then he drew a line across the bottom because at first he thought I would have to get a I guess cut on the bottom of my breast but then he also drew the lines for a J lift that was all dependent on how much tissue I had and what looked good. So when I woke up, I was told that I had the J lift and that's what I really wanted. So I was really excited. And these are my implants fully intact. I think I told some of you girls these were 350 cc's. They're actually 475 cc's. They're so heavy. I mean, they're just crazy heavy. No wonder why I couldn't breathe. This is like literally having a weight on your shoulder. So, these were not ruptured. I was worried that my left um, implant was ruptured because it hurt so bad. So when they went in there, they discovered that these implants were migrating inside my body towards my armpit and building more scar tissue. So that's why my left side was so painful because on this side, it was closer to my armpit than the right side. And so they had to do lots of scraping on my ribs. Um, so I'm really happy that I added the banana bag and I got the nerve block because I'm just 24 hours and some change post-op and I'm feeling good. I haven't, well actually I've taken no pain meds but I took a um, muscle relaxer because I was feeling some discomfort today so I took one muscle relaxer that they prescribed me but I don't think I'm going to have to take any pain meds. So surgery went fantastic. They were able to get um, all the scar tissue out and so you'll see a lovely picture of my implants uh, to the right so you guys can know what that looks like. The doctor did not do a pathology. I left that up to him if you saw anything weird going on in there. But as you can see, there is no materials floating inside my implants, so they didn't think that I uh, needed one. And they did a flush of the chest cavity, so I know that there's like no lingering bacteria. They sewed me up real pretty, and um, I can't wait to show you guys a little picture of what that looks like. Um, let me look at my notes really quick to make sure that I don't miss anything. Let's see. We talked about them scraping my ribs and there's no need for a test for cancer um, because there was nothing floating inside the implants that, that would have uh, scared someone and they would just be worried, you know, for my body, of course, but I didn't have that. So everything just went really well. So... Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about that, please put them down in the comments. Um, again, I had a nerve block and added the banana bag. I didn't do the Myers cocktail just because I have so many vitamins that I'm going to show you guys. I didn't think I would need that. And I'm feeling good. And then for the procedure again, I got a J lift with total capsulotomy. I don't think I said that right, but that's what I had. No, cap, cap, think, say it louder, babe. Capsulectomy. Capsulectomy. A total in black capsulectomy um, along with the J-Lift. And the girls are looking really good. I went to my first appointment today. I have my drains on, so I will go ahead and show you guys those. Um, you girls will have some drains. And I got this little outfit from Amazon if anyone's interested. Um, I will put all the products I bought in a link. So these are my drains. I have one on each side, of course, because I got two boobs. Uh, they'll just linger and hang on your bandage or your bra, and then they have to be squeezed. So this creates a suction to get the fluid out. So 
The drains can only come out if the total liquid is 20 milliliters for the whole day combined. So when you um, get your post op stuff, you'll get some paperwork. It looks a little bit like this. So you will have, let me see if you guys can see this. Okay, you can. So you'll have the date, the time that you drained out the liquid, and then um, the right side output and the left side output. So today, you know, I got 12 was 15. Let's just round that to 30, 50, 60, I don't know. I have around 70 or 80 milliliters today. So I'm hoping by Friday that I can get the drains out. It's tentative, but they don't really get in the way. Uh, they don't hurt at all. And you just have like these, you know, core drains that hang out. But I mean, there's a lot of people having surgery at the hotel I'm at that's right next to the surgery center. So I don't mind at all. I am, I'm doing well and I'm happy and healthy and that's all that matters. I feel fantastic. And I wanted to really thank all you guys for all the support. I'm getting lots of messages from women in the BAI community, friends even that have implants that want to take them out and they want all this information. I even have guys saying that I'm brave and I'm beautiful. I have uh, my family reaching out. Everyone here at the hotel too is so nice. My lovely fiance has been by my side this whole time he's taking care of me so I really wanted to take a second thank all you guys again for everything all your love means the most you guys are beautiful just the way you are and if you're not feeling confident just remember that your body is precious treat it like a temple take care of it and you really don't need these plastic things to think you're pretty I thought I did and they made me sick and I missed out on a lot of stuff but I'm saying no to that these are totally out and just like, look at them. They're just so heavy. They're so heavy. They feel like they're five pounds each. I can't believe that. I thought I needed these to be beautiful. And you don't. So next, um, I showed you guys my results. I showed you guys a little bit of what the boobies look like. Oh no, I didn't. I'll have to show you that next. So let me show you my bandage. I'm not gonna, sh my, my fiance's looking over like you're gonna show your boobs. <laughs> I'm not. I wanna show the bandage, but I took a picture today at my post op and looking at a lot of videos and pictures of girls, you don't really see anyone like showing you like what you're gonna get. You do see a lot of pictures on like real self and sometimes on social media. But, um, so I pretty much went from a triple double D, so, D, 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 that's what these guys, these 475 cc's on each boob. Um, I was 21 when I got the implants. I've had them for like nine years and I was a small B. So I went from a small B to a triple D and these guys came out. Um, luckily I had tissue left and some boobs. I have no idea what's going, what they're going to look like later on. The doctor said it takes months for you to heal and your boobs to fluff out. So, of course, I still have the bandage on. But then to the right, you guys are going to see what it looked like today with the bandage off. Of course, I'm covering my, my uh, areolas. But um, this is what I'm working with. I got lots of tissue here and it's supposed to fluff out. I think I'm going to have to wear the bandage until the drains come out and then I will wear uh, the post-op bra. I believe they said for three months I'll be wearing that. So no underwire, just seamless bras. And then that's going to bring me into these goodies. I want to talk about prepping and what they recommend you to buy and also a couple things that I always purchase when I have surgery. I've had a couple surgeries and I've done some research and so I got some healing tissue vitamins that work really well off of Amazon. Um, but let's walk you into what they're going to have you buy. So they are going to want you to buy um, grape seed extract pills. I grabbed all this stuff on Amazon and I will put together a link for you guys so you can find all these goodies in one place. Bromelain. This is really good for inflammation. Um, I'm also drinking pineapple juice every day. And then since I'm an uh, outpatient, I don't live in Florida. So at their office, they will sell Arnesia and a Bromelain complex. This is what they sell in their office. 
Um, I needed to start early. So you're supposed to start this a couple days to a week before you have your surgery and continue the whole bottle. It's about a week supply. So I bought this off Amazon, uh, Bruise MD, to supplement me taking these before I showed up because I showed up the day before surgery. So they sell this, so I got a bottle of theirs and then I'm, I'm taking theirs now that I'm here and then after this I will finish the Amazon bottle. So those you will need. And then um, I have my own vitamins. I take the Woman's Best Vitamins. I really love these. I take two of these a day. A uh, stool softener. If you're gonna be committing to those pain meds, I definitely recommend to get some stool softener because you will be constipated. Um, probably just take two before surgery and just two every day just to help you have bowel movements because those are very good for you. And then these guys, this is for healthy tissue response. This is packed with so many type of vitamins. Um, I believe this is a couple weeks supply. I got this off of Amazon. I have had so many compliments from doctors just how fast my body heals and I think it's this. I have seen lots of people have knee surgery repairs, uh, people that were really sick with getting like uh, their breast completely off because they had cancer and everyone took these pills and they had great results. So this will also be on my Amazon link. And then from the doctor, um, you're gonna get some medicine. So antibiotics, you definitely wanna finish this bottle. Um, I have Norco for pain. I haven't had any pain, so I haven't had these at all. And then they're gonna give you nausea medicine. I haven't had any nausea and I've been eating just fine. Um, the anesthesiologist will put some nausea medicine and anxiety medicine while you're having your surgery. So that was also added, which is very nice. And then I don't know where the other bottle is, but they give you muscle relaxers. So I have taken, I, I think I said one, but I think I've taken two since I've had um, the surgery. But the nerve block really helps a lot. I just have discomfort, but not pain. So I'm not going to take those. And then something that I always bring when, um, you know, you need to give yourself a pick-me-up is I have collagen powder to continue to help build tissue, you know, and stimulate the skin. And then for all of these lovely vitamins, I take my vitamins separate from the medication. I don't do all that at once. Just the vitamins alone is 10 pills. And then um, I take one antibiotic but I just take that by itself but I bought these honey sticks um, honey is, is a good natural sugar that helps carry the vitamins through your bloodstream so I when I take all my vitamins I eat one honey stick and I drink um, about 8 to 16 ounces like a whole water bottle full of water just to get that going so I highly recommend to get honey and tomorrow I get to shower it's gonna be my first time showering and I'm not sure if I will need this. They have a trick for the towel, but this is for the drains. It's a little belt that you could get for your drains. Um, I'm hoping I have my drains out on Friday, but I, I shower every day, so I'm looking forward to showering tomorrow. But it's a little cute belt. Um, you put each of the drains inside of these pockets. It's really comfortable fabric. I also bought this on Amazon so you would just hang this on the front because they don't want you to wash the front of your body when you get in the shower You can only do the back. So I got these drains and then on the um, Aqua Facebook Page I've seen lots of girls talk about different kinds of bras and lots of girls purchase these bras off Amazon which I will also link they're just easy little sport bras, something that I continue to wear once I have the drains out and, you know, if I don't want to wear their bra, I just have other options. It's a front zip up closure. Um, there's some comfy padding, but there's no metal in it, so you cannot have any metal. Uh, I also saw that Kelvin Klein has some good sports bras, but these had a lot of reviews and girls said that they liked that the zipper was very dead center and small, that it didn't put any creases on their breast. Because some girls were saying that um, they had too much pressure, so a lot of their boobs were like flat or something. So these had really good reviews, so I got these on Amazon too. And um, I, think, I think that is it, guys. I mean, 
just to wrap that up, um, again, you know, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm doing well, I'm feeling great, and you girls do not need these implants to feel beautiful. If you guys have any questions, feel, feel free to reach out to me. I hope that this information helps you guys to get to know what you're going to expect. If you are explaining or if you have questions and you're starting to scratch the surface, please keep doing your research. And if your body is telling you no, you need to listen to that and connect the mind to the body. Love yourself so much. Thank you girls and guys so much for being here and all your support. I love you guys so much. And I will make another video later on on my progress uh, just to talk about all my other symptoms to see if those go away. But so far, so good. Have a beautiful day and I will see you guys later. Bye.